hey hi a lot of my students are normally behaved but i have some exceptions or outliers in my students as well so what did i do first i used grubs test to find out the most mischievous student in the class but that didn't solve the problem there was only one student that i could flag off what if i have multiple such students which are misbehaving in my class what do i do i make use of something called as esd test or generalized extreme studentized deviate test to find out multiple outliers in my data set so this is my take on how you can implement esd test in python i hope you all like it in the previous video we discussed about grubs test which is used to detect a single outlier in your univariate data set not always will you have a case wherein you will have just one outlier in your data set for cases wherein you have multiple outliers in your data set grubs test of outlier detection is extended to something called as generalized extreme studentized deviate test or generalized esd test for detecting outliers in this video i aim to cover generalized esd test to find out outliers so let's start by importing the necessary modules the next step is i generate 100 random numbers from 0 to 1 and save it into a variable called as y the values of y range from 0 to 1 let's look at the scatter plot to see how the data looks like so this is my data all of the values are randomly scattered between 0 and 1 and you have total of 100 values in your data set the next thing that i do is i ingest two outlier values of 9 and 10 in locations 14 and 83 respectively now if i visualize the scatter plot this is what i see so most of your values are centered around 0 and 1 but you have two outlier values one is at location 14 which has a value 9 and the other is present at location 83 having a value 10 coming down to the next functions that i have defined this is the same function that i am using to calculate the g statistics which i have kind of covered in depth in my previous video i'll share the link to the video as well so do have a look if you're confused as to how this function operates this function basically takes in the array of values and returns the calculated statistic value and also the maximum index where the outlier value or the maximum deviation was observed so i run the cell this function is also borrowed from my previous examples of grubs test of outlier which is used to calculate the critical value based on the size of the array passed and also the alpha value which is 1 minus the confidence interval so i run this cell as well next up i have also created a function called as check underscore g underscore values which takes in the critical value and the statistics value if the statistic value is greater than the critical value then it is an outlier point and i show the outlier point if it is less than the critical value then it is not an outlier point so i run this cell to import the function into memory the next function that i define is esd underscore test which is used to carrying out the generalized esd test for outliers it accepts an input series the alpha value and how many number of outliers do i want to detect using the generalized esd test based on max underscore outliers as inputs i carry out those many iterations the first step is i compute the critical value then i go on to compute the statistic value then i check if my statistic value is greater than my critical value once i have carried this out one time i take the maximum value of the absolute deviations that i got from my previous iteration and i remove that value using the function np.delete and this process repeats for the total number of iterations equal to the maximum outliers that i have defined so i run this cell to include the function as you remember we ingested two outlier values a value of 9 and a value of 10 in a series of values ranging from 0 to 1 now i want to detect those two outliers but if you look closely for the input of max underscore outliers i have defined the value greater than the total number of outliers that i expect that is i expect two outliers but i have given three outliers let's see if it flags off a non outlier value as an outlier value so when i run this cell this is what i observe in the first iteration the grubs critical value was 3.38 whereas the statistics value was 7.21 so the statistic value was greater than the critical value thus there was an outlier in my data set and the value of that outlier was 10 which is evident as that had the maximum deviation from my mean value in the next iteration the value 10 is removed entirely 
and the whole process is rerun again without the value of 10. I find out that the critical value is now 3.38 whereas the statistic value is 9.414. Since the calculated statistic value is greater than the critical value, again I flag off the value which is 9 to be an outlier value. So both my outliers have been detected successfully so far. I go to the third iteration since I have defined the number of iterations as 3. When I go to the third iteration, my critical value is 3.377 whereas my actual statistic value is 1.86. 1.86 is not greater than 3.37. So the point 0 0.00766 which had the maximum deviation by dropping off first the value of 9 and 10 is not considered as an outlier point. I can also change this value to 10 and see that only two values have been flagged off as an outlier and none of the values other than 9 and 10 have been flagged off as an outliers. So this was my take on explaining how generalized ESD test for outliers work. It's basically a modification of Grubb's threshold to include more outliers by first removing the maximum deviation term and then rerunning the whole algorithm again. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions with what we have covered in this video, then feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those. If you enjoy these tutorials and would like to support them, then the easiest way is to simply like the video and give it a thumbs up. And also it's a huge help to share these videos with anyone whom you think would find them useful. Please consider clicking the subscribe button to be notified for future videos. And thank you all for watching.